Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Samantha and I'm back with a brand new video. If you've been wanting to start a YouTube channel but just don't know where and how to start or begin, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to be sharing five must-know tips in order to start a YouTube channel this year. And you may be wondering to yourself, this channel is all about luxury and fashion. What does she know about starting a YouTube channel? Thank you for asking. I'm generating passive income from my YouTube channel. I'm connecting with an amazing community of sensational babes here. I'm filming videos on topics that I love and I'm passionate about. And after years of trial and error, doing this again and again and again with different topics, different YouTube channels, I finally, found what worked. And I want to share my experience so that you don't make the same mistakes and that you feel empowered to start a YouTube channel of your own. First thing you need to know to get started is figure out what exactly you love and what kind of value you want to bring to your channel. What do you care about? What do you love? What kind of content speaks to you? And it sounds so cheesy, I know, and like, you're like, common sense, but it's not actually common sense. You can tell when you don't love talking about something or when you don't know like what direction you want to take. So before you even start, sit down and think about the type of content that you want to create, why you want to create that content, and then set a game plan. This could also be the biggest hurdle for you. When I first started my YouTube channel years back, and this was the channel that did not make it, my channel was just like all over the place. People who were coming to watch my videos didn't really know who I was or what I was all about. Fast forward to today, I have found a pure and strong love for all things luxury and you don't really have to have a specific niche per se you don't need to put yourself in a box right off the bat especially if you're just starting out one thing I've learned is that even though the first few YouTube channels did not work out I had a very clear picture at the end of the day on the type of content that I really love to film you will know once you start filming and start putting videos out like where you can improve what you actually love filming on what your style of filming is and all these pieces will fall into place once you get started it. Now, number two, the equipment you need to start a YouTube channel. So I posted a video a couple weeks back on the equipment that you must have in order to start a YouTube channel. The equipment you need in order to film a video, so like your cameras or the power of your iPhone. And what kind of software you need in order to edit these videos. So say iMovie, Final Cut, Adobe Pro. You want to get equipment that helps improve the aesthetics of your video. So that could be lighting equipment, it could be sound equipment, even a camera stand. I listed it as a nice to have in my video because at the end of the day, when you're starting out, the most important aspect of that in my opinion is to just start. I just used to stack my camera on top of books. So there are ways to get around the equipment aspect of YouTube without spending thousands of dollars on having all the equipment that you need in order to start. Number three, Practice being on camera. And this really depends on the type of YouTube channel that you want to start. Like if you want it to be very product focused without a face in it, or if you want to film videos where you're talking directly to the camera, either way you can benefit from improving your public speaking skills and the skills and experience of being on camera. A technique that I learned that was really, really helpful when I was taking public speaking classes in college is called the Pearl Technique. A class where you're training to remove filler words like um, um, a light instructor would always hit a pearl on the table to make a very loud sound every time you would say a filler word. I primed my brain to anticipate when I was going to say a filler word. It's a really, really good technique and something that you can do from the comfort of your home or with a partner. Mimic your heroes. I mean mimicking your heroes in a respectful manner. So this is something that I did too when I first started doing TV segments and when I first started filming more YouTube videos. I was still trying to find my style and my voice and so I would watch these red carpet like reviews or red carpet segments on television pinpoint things that the hosts were doing that I absolutely love loved how she presented her movements her voice like how she delivered kind of mimic and pick apart like parts of it that I wanted to start doing myself and then practicing that Just as long as you use it as a way to improve yourself and find your voice and a stepping stone for you to start practicing from somewhere that is totally okay. Okay. 
So say you have started your YouTube channel, everything's great, you're filming videos, you're posting them, you're growing your feed. What do you do now? So this is a good time for you to think about optimizing your YouTube channel. Now ways that you can optimize your YouTube channel can be split into different segments. Your style of being on camera or your style of editing your videos. After filming a couple of videos for quite some time, I've slowly discovered, you know, like this is how I like to interact with the audience on camera or like this is how I like to play around with how I edit my videos after. But optimize your videos based on what do you think works best for your channel and for your audience. Look at what your audience responds the most to. Think about searchability. Think about SEO. Essentially, YouTube is like Google. YouTube is a search platform. Now, this is not something that happens overnight. As I slowly try to optimize and improve my past videos and my current videos and then my future videos. On the platform itself, there is YouTube Studio where you can go in and do some research on the analytics of your channel like what type of videos are performing better than others the keywords are your videos ranking for where are your audiences located and there's also a research option in YouTube studio where you can do a deeper dive on what people are looking for on YouTube in general so there's a lot of really cool functionalities at your fingertips be sure to do some research and really dive into them and utilize them for your strategy I personally use TubeBuddy so TubeBuddy is an extension that you can download for your computer and link it to your YouTube channel it helps you find keywords that you can rank for and I found that to be so helpful especially as I'm uploading and publishing videos TubeBuddy helps to show me what kind of keyword recommendations I can use, what kind of tags I can use for my videos to hopefully make it a lot more searchable. And it is free to use and I'll make sure to add a link down below in the description. Try out YouTube Shorts. I again, love YouTube Shorts. There is this whole era of short form video. I just feel like YouTube Shorts is so underrated. More people are finding out about it right now, but I say jump on the bandwagon before it gets too popular. Plus, now you can also monetize YouTube shorts the fear of failure is real so don't let it get to you and a lot of the times like I was super discouraged as well for the many times that I just couldn't keep up with creating videos on topics that I just didn't really care about at the time I wasn't seeing a lot of views I wasn't able to monetize the video so I was definitely at a spot where I was just like wanting to give up. What's worse than failing, it's just being stagnant at where you are. Instead of just being stagnant at where you are, take a chance. And if you fail, it provides you an opportunity to take that learning from failing and try again. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope these tips really do help encourage you that if you are looking to start a YouTube channel that this gives you that extra push <laughs> to get things started, get the gears going and create a YouTube channel of your own. If you love all things luxury, you can watch my luxury playlist and if you love more videos like this, you can watch a playlist on self-development, self-tips and how to improve your marketing skills in this playlist as well. So I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest and of course this YouTube channel. You can find me here two times a week and I will see you in the next one. Bye!